whenever anybody's up yet, <laughs> or out yet, or online yet, whatever it is. Uh, but I'm at the sculpture garden again. I was here, I guess, maybe last week or so. It's wonderful. You come to town, it's a good place to stop in. They have great uh, sculptures all over the garden. See that little house over there? Nah, that's sort of cool. They have a huge eraser and, and stuff. There's all kinds of stuff here. It, it, it's really fun. Uh, but what I want to talk about, I mean, there's one thing. I mean, when people join Let's Go Help, some of them get frustrated because they can't find anything. Uh, now, we're probably the best source in America for finding, in, for understanding what personal grants are all about in the government. Now, we're not great for big corporations who need grants or hundreds of millions of dollars and stuff. But the average person on the street, you know, that the government gives out an average of $22,000 every month or not every year uh, to each family in America. And they're the ones that we're uh, familiar with. And, and we've been very successful with our new uh, business. I've been writing books on this for about 50 years now. And the current incarnation is our Let's Go Help service and it helps people apply for every grant they're eligible for uh now people have joined and it's only twenty dollars uh and they get frustrated and think that i'm lying or something like that they have reasons for their unsuccess <laughs> and that's understandable because it may take more work than you think and you may be thinking about government grants in the wrong way you may be thinking, well, all, all I need is the application to fill out. That's true, but the harder part is finding the right application to fill out. And that is not using the Internet. You can't find the right application to fill out by searching the Internet. That's why, you know, you, if you've been looking for grants, you could be spending the last month, the last year, the last five years on the Internet looking for a grant, and you find never got one. Because that's the wrong way. And I only say that from doing this for 50 years and uh, writing uh, 100 books on the subject <laughs> and so millions and millions of books. And people still didn't get it because they, they lose the point. And that's why now with Let's Go Help, they get the point better because we could point them to people where you live that know about the grants where you live. See, there, there's millions of grants and they're all different. Uh, there's a, some that are national, like Social Security and things like that. But if you want help to pay your bills, start a business, uh, buy a house, fix up a house, uh, health care, legal help, all that stuff, they're local. And they're local not only from the government, from, but from nonprofit organizations. And it's a mess. There's no th two grants that have the same requirements. And, and it, it's, it, it could be a nightmare if you're not prepared for it. And that's what we do is prepare you for that. And what to do. And even if you don't use us, remember that you have to find people where you live that already know about these grants. You know, you don't want anybody like me who's selling you something <laughs> to tell you what's available. I'd show you where to look. And that's the important thing. Then you have to call these people to see if that's for you or not. And if it's not uh, and for you... Uh, then you have to ask them, hey, where else for me? See, what the government also does, besides give all this money out, uh, they give money to people to help you find where to apply. Because, like, for business, there could be 300 programs, you know, for you and your business in, in one city, you know. And you don't know the first, they all have different requirements or whatever. So what you have to do is find people, and there's, Dozens and dozens of people in every city that are only there to help you find grants in certain areas. Okay, and there's who you want to talk to. I mean, the, the government is, it has, has wonderful services that people don't know about. I mean, who would have thought that you know you could get a mentor on getting a business grant? You know, they sit down with you and, and think through your idea. And help you go here, there, the other place. And if that doesn't work, you go somewhere else. That's what you need to get ahead in life. You can't just, you know, a rifle shot, and just one grant and do that. That may happen. But most likely it won't. And what happens if you have that in your mind, then you're not going to stay with it and find out where it really is. 
There's help out there for every hundreds of millions of people get these grants every year. You hear that? Hundreds of millions. <laughs> and and twenty two thousand dollars for every family. So you have to learn uh, what this system is. And it's not complicated. It's just not you. You're not used to it. You found out how to drive a car, right? You found out how to ride a bicycle, right? You find out how to use the computer, right? And it took a little bit of time. And then it becomes second, uh, second nature. And it's easy. The same way with this. Because once you learn that, see, what my mission is, is to learn, teach as many people as possible about this system so that you could use it for the rest of your life. And that's why we, I want to keep it cheap as possible. It's only $20. So people, you know, uh, don't have to pay. I used to charge $5,000 for this kind of stuff. The millionaires will pay for this because they know they can make billionaires out of them. <laughs> now, I just want people who really need the money. They don't even need the money. That's why they'll spend that kind of money. <laughs> but $20 to me, and there's no upsells. We'll never sell you. Uh, uh, you know, you won't join us and we oh, you better need this and this will help you. No, never again. You're, we won't sell you anything else. Once you pay $20, you're it. Till the next month, if you want to stay another month. And then it's another fun. That's it. That's it. No more. <laughs> no upsells, nothing. I want to teach you how to live in this society. Life has changed. Life has changed like you've never seen it before. At least I've never seen it before. And I've been around for almost 81 years now. Uh, so it has changed. And you have to learn how to deal with today. Not deal with what how, how you would like the government to be. And not deal with what how you would like the world to be. <laughs> That's not going to help. Because it ain't that way. And I know when I was, I made a lot of money selling books, and then nobody bought books anymore. So it took me years really to learn, hey, how could I get this information to people? Yeah, <laughs> again, and how are they willing to pay for it? And now this is the best time of my life because people are really using it more now than ever before. People are having more success now. Even though I sold millions and millions and millions of books, I, I'm not getting success from people uh, getting the grants uh, as I am right now. Uh, because they get handheld help from us. But more importantly, you don't have to give us $20. Uh, there's help the government gives help like this. Maybe not, the government doesn't dress like this, <laughs> but it gives help like this. <laughs> uh, that's a weak mindset. I need a social worker. Well, yes, I mean, you can call them whatever you want. They're really called navigators nowadays. In other words, uh, the government called hires navigators. If you want to get the right health insurance, you talk to a health insurance navigator. And these people don't get paid. See, otherwise you're going to go to Google and talk to a salesman. Now, they get paid only if they sell you something. Navigators don't. They don't get paid only by giving you the best information, only by giving you, you know, the best, uh, identifying the best program for you, not for them to make a commission on. That's what you need, okay? And they're there all over the country, in every city. There's hundreds, thousands. I mean, I, if you go to findhelp.org, okay, go right now, findhelp.org, put in your zip code. I put in my zip code, and when I, then I'll find 3,900 nonprofit organizations and government offices that are navigators for any subject that comes up in life. So you could go there and put housing, you know, and you'll see probably 70, 80 organizations or 200 organizations in your zip code, you know, that help people with housing problems. That's all they do, you know, and they do it over and over. You're not the first person that has a problem. So that's what you do. And the other thing, remember, one navigator doesn't know everything. You have to talk to a handful of navigators at least to make sure that you're getting all the information that's available. Make sure that you know your options. The best decision is by having the best options. And yet that, the best options don't come from talking to one person. That's just one option. And options are multiple in life. So then you call another person. And you say, hey, I need to buy a house and I don't have much money. What do you suggest I do? They're there to answer that question. And the point to it's a real program. Every program, every office in that findhelp.org will never ask for money. They're there to help you with financial problems, and they will never ask you for money. Now, isn't that cool? 
I will. <laughs> yeah, I got to pay my bills and stuff and the people that work for me. But what's neat about us, what, what's happening now is that not only do my staff and me try to help as much as we can, and our heart is open to just do this 24-7, at least I am. And But members, members are so grateful to learn about this. And when they get money uh, from these programs, then they want to come in and they help other people. So there's almost every day of the week, you'll set an hour, two hours, where members are available free online. You can see them. They're video conferencing. You can talk to these people. Hey, how'd you do this? What did you do? And they're so excited to tell you because they had no idea this stuff was here. <laughs> so that's why I feel they're better to talk to than me. You know, I've been studying this for 50 years. You know, uh, <laughs> these people just found out about a couple months before you did. You know, and that's the exciting thing to me that they could share this information with you. Uh, and and that's I uh, just and everybody is working with their heart, man. I mean, the last couple of years, all I do is. I want to grow my heart. I can't run faster anymore. I'm 81 years old. I walk six, seven miles a day, but I don't run it anymore. I quit about two years ago. I go to the gym. I can't lift heavier weights that much as I did before. I can't get muscles fast better, but I can love harder. And that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. And uh, this business is really just to show uh, my heart. I believe in this, and I believe that it could help a lot of people out there uh, with financial problems. And that's what think makes people sick more than any else. Uh, Tom and Grant show and playing the year. Do you remember? Well, that changes all the time and there's so many uh, programs there's millions of difference, but I keep reading stories. Every day. The government has has to make quota <laughs> and they don't because they don't advertise and then people think of just bad things when they think of the government and not good things. Man, you know, look at COVID. Look at how much money they gave out. You know, and that's what really to help me convince people that the government can do good stuff. And the government does have programs there to help you in life. And right now, man, it's for getting a better job. Man, there's more help now for getting into it because it's still COVID money. It's still trying to change our society to be skilled and work in jobs that are really needed, not to get a PhD in history. And where are you going to use that? You know, and you're going to spend $100,000. Here, what you get now to get the skills you need, they pay you, you know, thirty thousand dollars a year or more to get a skill that will get you a hundred thousand dollar job, and in three months or three years, you'll have that skill and be on your way, and then have to sit in boring class, English classes. <laughs> I hated those. I flunked English in college, and I have two New York Times bestsellers. I'm my Marty disabled veteran. Where's the blessed taste? Uh, to start when looking for business funding? Well, two places. You want to find your uh, county veterans service office. County veterans service office. Okay? Uh, and every county has one. You can call 211 and ask them. Uh, the other thing you want to do, um, oh, it has a resource, yes. Uh, unclaimed money, yes. That, that's different. That's the unclaimed money. I'll claim money, yeah. I'll give you a free report on that. Uh, and actually, I think USA.gov has a, a good list on their search, too. Uh, to the, um, and, uh, oh, what they? oh, for veterans, yeah. So county veteran service officer, make an appointment. That's it. You make an appointment. They're a navigator. They help you navigate. And they uh, those navigators get more money for veterans than anybody else. And make sure it's .gov. Don't go anything else that's .com. And then the other thing you want to do is go to uh, uh, sba.gov slash local dash assistance. sba.gov slash local dash assistance. Okay. Hope you saw my comment above. Thanks for all. You do. I saw your videos yesterday and instantly subscribed. Thanks for all. Oh, great. Thank you, Marta. Oh, we'll get into uh, uh, the, sh <laughs> the, the links there so we can get. And the first thing you do when you get a member is download your 500 mini grant reports for your state. OK, make sure you do that and get on. Let's go help, too. That's where it's easy to do. We're also on Facebook and it's over there, too, but it's a little more difficult. Uh, how much money goes unfunded? Uh, how much are they supposed to give out? But they don't. 
don't have a definite. I mean, I just see it happening all the time. And right now, there's still so much COVID money at the state level that they got during COVID that they haven't given out yet. You know, uh, <laughs> and so I see estimates up to 10, 15 percent. So that's like probably a half a trillion dollars or more that's just sitting there. Yeah, you know, that, that is supposed to help individuals, but it doesn't because the local governments haven't got their act together uh, to decide how to spend it. So call your local official and beat on them and tell them, hey, we got money sitting there from COVID. Let's do something with it that helps, you know, like rent uh, grants or starting businesses or getting uh, home repairs or whatever you need. What about help with buying a house? Yes, I mean, the best place is that. Uh, and there's, if you look back uh, about three or four videos ago uh, on YouTube, I have a, a listing of eight places to talk, talk to in your city uh, that help you buy homes. And these are navigators. And there are eight different navigators that will help you find money for that. Okay. You call every one of them. Say, what about help for buying homes? That's it. it it's, it's, not a, it's not a rifle shot. You know. You have to keep talking to people and get uh, help and go another person to get help. And then another one. And they tell you something that may or may not. It's like looking for a job. Same kind of process. May or may not work. And when one doesn't work, you have to keep going to find another one. I like that little house over there. You see it behind me? <laughs> Eight navigators, man. I'm just on the tip of the iceberg of your content. Uh -huh. I have homework here. Yes, it does. <coughs> but don't. Don't keep call. Just see one and call and see what that does. Then if that doesn't do anything, you see another one and just call. You you learn and grow by making the call, not deciding about the best call to make. You don't know that. I don't know that. So these are all possibilities. You know, uh, you're at a bar and somebody's going to say yes if you want to date. You know, and you have to start one end of the bar and start asking <laughs> because you don't know. <laughs> Or you want to use your instincts or whatever. But yeah, uh, that's it. Who helps with getting a new roof? Well, there's probably uh, 50 to 100 organizations where you live that help with that. I just talked about one today. There's a new program uh, that Biden is setting up in every um, uh, city and state. Every state has it. You call your state department of energy. And ask about those programs because they want you to have a fix up a roof because they want you to do. They're going to put a solar roof, solar panels on there for free for you, and so you won't have to pay much. Okay, you get your state reports. Like, see, that's right. Tula knows that one hundred fifty thousand dollars down payment. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, get more information as a member. Yes, but even not. Uh, there's, you know, you go to, you know, if you're not a member, go to findhelp.org. And uh, put in a subject you want. You know, if you have to pay rent, you put in rent. And you see all the people that are in your city that help you pay rent. Now, everybody's not going to be help you, helpful. Uh, maybe people hang up on you. you know, that happens all the time. You know, <laughs> big corporation, small corporation, whatever. So it's you having the stamina uh, to get through it. If you have an easier way to get money, go get it. Okay. Uh, but if you don't, this is real money, and real people get it. You know, and you can see our testimonials over on, we got a couple, about four or five hundred on Facebook. Um, they're a little harder to put on, on uh, Let's Go Help too, uh, that do this stuff. So let me go, guys. I got to finish my exercising so I can stay alive and say hello to Tula tomorrow. I want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's exercising that keeps me here, I think. And it's mental, too. Uh, once you yes, the video will be up uh, after I finish. They're all here. That's what's so neat about it. Okay. So how did the last uh, video do that you did? Oh. Did you get started with grant consulting? How did you find your passion? Uh, I got started because I, I was a management consultant, MBA in computers, at a computer software company. And I was trying to get organizations, particularly big business, find out information. This is back in the 70s about what's going on outside their company, getting information so they make good decisions. Uh, and 
I got sick of help, helping rich people. And then I started learning all the government programs I was getting for rich people. God, anybody could use this stuff. And I grew up in a small town called Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania. Man, we could have used the hell out of this stuff. But we don't know. We didn't know. So my mission now, since I saw that, is helping people who don't have much money learn about the government programs that could really change your life. And I'll do this till I, my head falls in the can of soup. <laughs> yeah. uh, does that make sense? Okay. I went well on live yesterday. And yeah, thank you. Okay, my dear. I hope I live long enough to see you. <laughs>